Hello everybody, my name is Mike Tomorrow, and I want to welcome you to the latest episode of My Life with Asperger's. First of all, I want to apologize for the uh, brightness of the uh, video here, but this is a brand new video camera that I had and uh, I was setting it up before I did my, before the previous episode and, uh, and I'm still working on the kinks on it. So, bear with me, we're going to get through the next few episodes and all that, and then I'll be a pro at it, so, I don't know what happened to my other video camera, I brought it with me when I was going, when I was going up to Massachusetts, and then when I tried to tape the, uh, record the last episode, and then tried to record the, uh, Springfield RV Camping and Outdoor Show uh, opening ceremony that they had. I couldn't find the, the webcam, so I have this webcam now, and hopefully it'll work for me, and hopefully in the coming weeks it'll be better, and you'll get to see more episodes, and you'll get to hear me talk more, and you get the idea, right? Anyways. Speaking of that, our episode this week, or this time, is going to be about resources for adults with Asperger's and autism. I know that when I did my uh, kickoff party speech on here back in September, I did talk about that a little. The kind of resources that there are, the resources that I'm using, and, and so forth. But today we're going to talk about some of the resources that you can actually use to meet new friends and and to uh, get together with them and what other types of resources that there are out there in this world that can help you out. Now, going on the internet might be a little strange. Well, I know you're on the internet now, obviously watching my video, but still. You might think, what do I type in to find the resources? It's pretty simple, as a matter of fact, to do that. Unfortunately, right now, my internet's not working, so I'm not going to be able to show you some of the sites. But there are resources out there that you can use to uh, to get yeah. to get information on organizations and walks that go on and other other government services that can help you. Now I'm originally from Massachusetts and now when I was up in Massachusetts they have what they call mass rehab which is a service that they help provide jobs and help students out with disabilities get through college I t I owe them my thank you because they got me through college they helped pay for college for me to get my bachelor's degree but yeah I know it's tough but getting through it and getting my bachelor's degree but I got it so Basically, that's what it is. You get a bachelor's degree. They help you out with that. They help you go to school. They help you get a job. I know when I was a client of Mass Rehab, I never actually asked for them to help me find a job. Basically, all they did was help provide financial aid school and they paid for school they paid for my classes and all they didn't pay for my books I know that or they did partly they did I think they did right yeah they did partly but yeah now in Florida they have a similar service called vocational rehabilitation which is they also help you find jobs. 
And they also try to help you out if you're going to school. And they help pay for you to go to school. Now I didn't take I didn't take the benefits of going to school down here in Florida other than the Disney College program. Because that was through my college up in Massachusetts. So the Mass Rehab was able to help pay that. Now there are other resources out there in Florida here you also have the Agency for Persons with Disabilities which is in severe cases a great organization or agency to see because they can help you out as well and then you have you have Autism Speaks which is a nationwide organization <coughs> and, excuse me. and they also have help there so you can find services that can benefit you nationwide whether you live in Washington State, Hawaii, California, Massachusetts, Florida, you name it. And they have blocks all over the country and Canada too. Now they are a good resource to go to, Autism Speaks. But I might want to let you know before you go on there to try to find resources that they mostly cater to children and to parents of the children that are on the spectrum. They don't really have a lot of resource information for adults that are on the spectrum. And that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get a job with Austin Speaks. Thank you very much because I want to help try to get more services out there for adults and try to help them out so that they can have more services out there for adults if you know what I mean. Now the next organization that I'm going to talk about is the uh, Center for Autism and Related Disabilities or CARD as most of us call it. Now they have locations in uh, Central Florida which UCF uses their chapter is UCF card and then South University of South Florida has their own USF and then University of Miami has their own University of North Florida has their own so basically you have basically each college or whatever well, not really each college. Most of the major colleges in Florida, they are part of CARD. So, they have their own chapter of CARD. I belong to the uh, UCF CARD. And it's a great organization as well. It's a nonprofit. They uh, help children and adults that are on the spectrum. And they help them try to find jobs as well and other life problems and all those typical problems that you have to deal with life. Now the UCF card that I belong to they also have a program that uh, does activities at least once a month with all the other clients of the uh, card so that they can uh, interact and socialize and have a fun time. I've done a few of their activities. They're fun, you know? Like one of the times they had the uh, corn maze and then the other time they had the uh, game night. So it's basically a great way to meet other people that are on the spectrum and have a fun time with them. You know? Now they have an organization also within themselves but it's actually a different organization called uh, Knights Pals. Now Knights Pals is for adults and college age students that are on the spectrum to go out at least once a month for like bowling trips and golf and it's similar to the Aspire group that I was talking about earlier. 
Now, now to belong to that one, you also have to pay a due. You have to pay dues, unfortunately. And now that one is run by uh, college students currently at the University of Central Florida. Now I'm trying to form another club out here called uh, Four Corners Autism Club, which is the four corners, the four counties that represent the uh, four corners, Osceola, Orange, Hulk, and Lake, and we do activities within those four corners, of those four counties, and have a fun time. I know that I'm still starting out with it. But, I mean, I'm trying to accept new members. Anybody can be in this club. There are no dues as of right now. Because I'm just forming this club. But eventually I do want to have people, more and more people in it. So that we can have more and more activities. You know? Now, those are the programs that I belong to down here in Florida. I know Massachusetts, they have another group out in Amherst, but I don't remember what it was called. There are other programs. Don't be discouraged that if you cannot find a program. Basically do what I do. Start a program. Start a club. You know, and try to get other people that have autism or Asperger's and all the other ones, all the other related disabilities to come and be a part of the group, you know? Or be a part of your group, I should say. You know? It's like, it should be a great organization for all, you know? Or a great organization. I know that I want to try to do is to create like a similar program to Knights Pals and expand it across the country. You know, but not so much have college kids running it. Well, I mean, you know, not the ones that, not like the UCF Night House, but have it like, have adults and college, well, yeah, college students come and do it too, and, you know, just have it basically not related to a school, you know, if you know what I mean. And have it so that, okay, this person can run for office, you know. So its members can have every right to run for office if they want to or, or their members can create activities and be chairman of the activities, be the coordinator of that activity, you know what I mean? someone to what my camping club is like. You have a board of directors and all that. Well, I don't want a board of directors. But if you, if you want a board of directors, you can have that too. I don't know. You know? But basically, what I'm trying to say is just to have, have an organization that can start these clubs all over the country and be like, hey, come on aboard. I don't know if it'd be I don't know if it'd be sponsored by Autism Speaks or whatever. It might be, but I'm just trying to say, hey, here's all these adults that are on the spectrum. Why don't they get together more often or meet other people that are on the spectrum? You know? That's one of the reasons why I wanted to be a part of UCF CARD. That's one of the reasons why I want to be part of Knights Pals. And the Aspire group too, that CARD runs. Because, and that's why I wanted to start the uh, Four Counties Autism Club. Because, I want to meet other people in the area that are on the spectrum, you know? It's a great time that we all have and great friends that we meet you know now if we get something like this nationwide like they do with the Knights Pals and all 
it'd be great for everybody because everybody can meet each other and uh, and time can tell that there might be uh, state conferences and national conferences and where everybody can meet everybody you know what I mean it's not just around here you know but if we create these clubs and make them chapters of the club that'd be, that'd be a great idea you know I would love to have more and more clubs and I would love to have chapters here and chapters there and chapters in Florida, chapters in Massachusetts, chapters in Connecticut, chapters in New York, you know? Well, Rhode Island's probably going to have one chapter, Delaware's probably going to have one chapter, but I mean, most of the other states are going to have like two, three, probably a lot of them, you know? If we can get these chapters formed, then we can all meet up and have a great time and have conferences like Autism Speaks does or, Knights, or the UCF card does, you know? It'd be a great way for people across the country and we can even expand it to Canada if we wanted to and make this a great club for adults and a great resources for adults that are on the spectrum College students would be invited to, yeah, because they'd be 18 or over, and that's how I would do it, 18 or over. It'd be a great way for other adults to meet and mingle and share their, share their stories and just have a fun time, you know? And this is one of the proposals, one of the ideas I have for Autism Speaks to try to get me a job with them. You know, I'm going to present this idea to the rights when I go to the uh, West Palm Beach Walk on March 4th. You know, and I'm going to walk underneath their team because I'm going to walk underneath their team because I want to have a good relationship and I want to have a, I want to put my right foot there, you know, well, not literally, but put my good foot out there and meet them and talk to them and uh, present them with a proposal, present them with an idea. You know, how can we make Autism Speaks to be a better club or a better organization? I know I'm talking about Autism Speaks, but I mean, let's talk about it like, what is there, what is there that we can do that we can have more resources for adults and more clubs for adults that are on the spectrum and not just have them for like children all the time. You know, there are adults that are on the spectrum, and they need to be aware of that, you know? I know it's hard as an adult to tell people about the Asperger's and autism and what other disability you might have, but don't be afraid, because, because there's going to be other people that are going to have the same thing as you do, you know? I know I'm just yakking, yakking, yakking all along here, but you you have to understand my point here. You know, I want to create a club, another resource for adults to have the spectrum, to come and meet and have a great time and learn more about the uh, disorder, you know, or the spectrum. That's why also I'm on two walk committees. That's why I also volunteer at like three or four other walks in the great state of Florida. That's why you saw me in Fort Myers this past November. That's why you saw me in Tampa in April, which I'm not going to be on the committee for now. That's why you saw me in November this past November, which I'm on the committee for. That's why you saw me in Volusia County in Port Orange. That's because... I volunteered for it, you know? That's why you saw me in West Palm. Well, I didn't really volunteer for that one because I was not feeling too good. But that's why you're going to see me this coming weekend in, Tam uh, in, what? Excuse me. in West Palm Beach. Because I have the passion to go out there and share my story with all the other parents and all the other children and all the other uh, adults on the spectrum. And that's why I do these videos.
because I want to share my life with Asperger's with you. You know, this is another resource. Learning from my videos. You know? I just hope we get a lot of views. But understand what I'm trying to say here. There are resources for adults. Don't be afraid to go online and look for them. You know? Like I said, there are resources out there. All you have to do is just go ahead and type them. I just gave you a few examples of them. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you on another episode of My Life with Asperger's real soon. Talk to you later. Bye.